I'm here today at the Denver Botanical Gardens. This one seems pretty massive compared to the others I've visited. Hi, I'm Will. I spent my 20s living in a boring area with not much to do. And so I decided to pack up and travel the world through Airbnbs while working a remote job. I was willing to do whatever it took to live a more fulfilling and enriching life. Join me on my adventure, turmoils, trials and tribulations. Uh, you can check out the dome in the background. There's a building you can go. There's a pathway up there. So let's see if these uh, impressions hold true as we explore the area. Um, it's more like a zoo than a botanical garden. I'm also a little tired of them having been to the one in Atlanta, the one in uh, Queens, and uh, I think there was one in Manhattan as well. And then there's a couple in Florida. So um, we'll see if this one's up to par. Uh, if not, and I think it is, but if not, maybe I'll taper down onto the botanical gardens, even if it is one of the most recommended things in a city. So this definitely is the one for uh, one thing to visit in Denver, as well as a few other areas in the city. So let's uh, explore and see how it goes. So first impressions, this place is massive and it does kind of feel like a zoo. I checked out the map and you could spend a good half day, full day here. It's probably one of the biggest ones I've seen. Um, there's all sorts of exhibits here, exotic displays, and lots of people. The parking lot was almost filled. So uh, definitely possibly worth it if you really want to uh, check it out and enjoy the experience. Some of these flowers do pop, even if you're not familiar with all the different breeds and species. Um, you can tell that they are uh, very colorful and the shapes are different and then if you go through this way there's different paths so it's almost like a little garden here uh, compared to the other botanical gardens I've been to across the US this one's definitely a bit bigger a bit more crowded though but definitely bigger there's much more variance and variety and abundance of uh, gardens to look at and choose from as well as fountain displays. I think the Atlanta garden I was able to get through in like one and a half hours and I think there was one in North Carolina as well that was similar. The difference is this one just it's just so much more expansive there's this architecture there's sculptures and it really does have a feel of a long garden. I mean, just, just the architecture of some of those uh, wooden domes, it's amazing. And then you have these fountains and flowers. Now, people probably come from all over to see this because it is a paid entry, but it's only $15, so it's not too bad. But check this out, incredible. And I don't know what that is. I assume it's some type of greenhouse roof, but that's pretty cool too. One last thing I would want to say is that I was actually looking up the top 10 botanical gardens in the U.S. because I've been to enough and I was starting to really want to kind of taper that down because oftentimes if you visit a city, they have a botanical garden. They know you must visit it and you should visit the museum too. But um, it ends up getting a little tiring. Uh, so I was like, I'll just go to the top 10. The Denver one is not in the top 10 lists. That said, I really think it has some potential here. It really does. Uh, it is just an expanse of gardens and pond gardens you can roam. So it turns out that greenhouse was actually uh, a kid's uh, exhibit inside. It was actually pretty cool to see the facts here. And also it has this uh, glass wall uh, view of the outside. So it was very peaceful just to watch people from inside this and, and see the water flow because there's like water surrounding it. Um, there's also an actual greenhouse exhibit with a rainforest climate inside. This was uh, probably the biggest greenhouse I've been to, the coolest one. It literally has kind of like a tree house 
inside and um, then there's also this uh, convention center I saw people taking classes or doing lectures here uh, now the greenhouse has some really good Instagrammable photo spots uh, because of its uh, strange structure um, that looks outside and then the rainforest inside it really is quite the experience in there um, I am actually thoroughly impressed with this greenhouse it has multiple floors I think two uh, it has a tree house so that makes it technically three floors and you have this giant expanse of tropical foliage here um, I wasn't expecting it. Now it is crowded. There's tons and tons of floors flowing in. I found a more empty spot here. Uh, but generally speaking, it's quite the site. I haven't seen a greenhouse like this before based on the size, the variety, um, and yeah, it's really cool. Check out this plant tree. Isn't that crazy? It's about 15 feet high, almost reaches the ceiling of this greenhouse, which is really, really high. Amazing. As I continue to explore, I found this Asian garden. They had more kind of a Japanese garden feel to it. And you could really tell that they had spent um, many years curating each exhibit and really uh, making it as good as possible per exhibit and per garden. It was pretty peaceful here because it's so big even though there's so many people flowing through um, you could find your spots where it was calm enough and you had your space and it was just a very peaceful exhibit or area. I would have loved to come here every month or every two weeks just to uh, recharge and get that peace and quiet they even have these weird almost like Dr. Seuss plants here uh, so definitely worth coming here if you get a chance all right so I've been at this exhibit for about two hours so it's taking a little shorter than I thought to see the whole thing but still very uh, extensive um, I've basically walked around the whole premise and it's really cool lots of trees flowers uh, gardens, there's a Japanese garden, there's a uh, dry desert garden, so definitely worth it, very peaceful. If you do go, I would recommend going on a day where you know others aren't going to be here because it does get kind of crowded. Um, and this is a weekday, so just coming on a weekday won't be enough. I think you probably have to just try your best to shoot for a day that you don't think people will be. But yeah, once again, so peaceful, so scenic.